What's up, Leo? This is Soul. And Leo, this is your bi-weekly messages beginning April 8th and ending April 22nd, 2019. Messages will be, of course, for Leo Sun, Leo Moon, and Leo Rising Signs as well. All right, my fellow lions, I hope all is well. Uh, before I begin your messages, I want to I wish all those Leos who celebrate uh, Easter, Happy Easter. I can make it official now. Uh, happy Easter to you all. And as before, the um, shadow card energy could be energy that plays out along the rest of the energies that are going to be selected for you, Leo. And, you know, if it's a major, then it may carry more weight. All right. So let's see what's going on or what's potentially coming up for uh, my fellow lions here for the next two weeks. All right. Here we go. Still using the uh, Witch's Tarot uh, deck. Leo. All right. Shadow card energy relates to the Knight of Pentacles. All right. So this could be energy related to... Um, work finances of course the knight of pentacles is showing up here it could be a promotion could be a new job could be someone approaching you in terms of a relationship or a friendship someone could be helpful to you when it's um because that's a card of generosity the uh, pentacles are always about generosity so somebody could be coming to save you rescue you uh in some sort of financial situation Someone could be, you know, not only saving you, but could possibly be lending you money to help you out with your finance. Yeah, your finances in a situation. This also could be, uh, a, you know, it is a court card. It could be that friend that could be that new friend that's developed friendship that's developed and then also a rom yeah, romantic relationship. So an offering knight in shining armor but whoever this person is if it's not just the energies of the night then it could be a, a real person who provides security stability and uh, longevity when it comes to a relationship now they may not be a true earth sign taurus capricorn virgo male or female all right so your overall energy is related to the uh eight of pentacles so this is actually pretty good too it's in the upright position this is a card of stability this is you know Focus on, oh, I'm sorry. It focuses on work, building up your income. Okay. And um, yeah, there's this balance of finances, possibly. Could be the indication of the job that I mentioned with the night, a new job, change of a career. And then there's a promotion, and then there's a um, pay raise, substantial pay raise. But some of you are, but your balance though, the eight of pentacles is always about that balance. So following the eight of pentacles now, uh, Leo, we have the, oh, we have the lover's card in the reverse. Wow. Now, was it your sign that pulled the lover's card in the reverse the last time? So, okay. So there may be some situations where, um, you're having issues with family members. Now, this is a general open read, so it could be it's not just about love and romance. It could be family. It could be business. Following the uh, Eight of Pentacles, uh, for sure, is related to business. So be careful if you are uh, a Leo who is in business and in partnership that, you know, be careful about the uh, the spending during this two week period of time, even though the Eight of Pentacles is in the upright and it's favorable. But what follows that Eight of Pentacles is the lover's card, which is always about business, partnerships for me, and then also all other facets of relationships, friendships, romantic, um, and so forth, family. So the lovers is the major arcana showing up here in the reverse. So just be careful. We have to see what else is revealed so that I can complete the story for you. Um, but I feel that this lover's card here with the uh, reversal of it is disagreements. Uh, with another individual 
Okay, but let's see what else comes up after the lover's card that represents Gemini and then other air signs, Libra and Aquarius, male or female. Following the lover's card now is the four of swords. So there's a conflict of interest here, uh, possibly. But this is the card that I always read in the upright position that relates to uh, needing to take a break from a situation. Now, hence, it follows the lover's card. And this, if this is the card that says, you know, you need to take a break from somebody, detach your energies from somebody, then there you go. OK, so that might be self-explanatory. Uh, also, to the you know, with the four of swords, it comes up where you're planning for other Leon Leons for other Leos. Wow. I try to combine Leo and Leon alliance at the same time. Anyway, I must be getting tired. So Leo. Um, yes, take a break and it may be a temporary break that's, you know, that's all you need, but this card comes in as to, uh, saying that you need to do something for yourself to reserve your energies or to rebuild your energies. This is the rest relaxing. Yeah. Rest, relaxation, rejuvenation card. Okay. This is the do me time out for me card. All right. And disconnect your energies, even if it's only temporary from another energies. So following this lover's card, that's important for you, uh, for Leo's or some Leo's that I'm reading for that may come about uh, in this two week period of time. OK, but I'm feeling with the disagreements with the lovers definitely coming in uh, because that's not it's a card that, you know, relates to not being on the same page. It doesn't necessarily mean a split. In terms of a breakup or anything like that, even though it is a major, but I'm not feeling that um, at this particular moment. I just feel that there's some type of disagreements. It could be money. It could be money uh, related or it could be something else related. But for Leo, the four of swords says following that um, major arcana, the lover's card. Just chill out for a minute. Take a break from a situation. All right. Do something for you to uh, reserve your energy and do something nice for yourself. Following that is the Knight of Swords. So here we go. We got the uh, Knight of Swords and we have the Knight of Pentacles. So the Knight of Swords mirrors the lover's card. Isn't that interesting? This is the card of taking charge, moving forward, fast approaches. Um, sometimes the, the Knight comes in as the uh, energy of being detached and being analytical so is there um and he's facing in the direction of the lovers he's mirror ring the lovers the four of swords is in the middle about those conflicts so yeah i'm feeling disagreements some type of disagreements coming through or coming up for some leos and however those disagreements may unfold for you, it could be family related, romantic uh, partnerships related. It could be children. It could be co-workers. It could be friends, business partners. That's what I'm getting. But there is a lot of determination, though, with this uh, Knight of Swords that's coming through. This is a guy I've taken action. Could represent a female, too. Taking action and just using that sword to clear up any uh you know matters possibly of concerns to get rid of any confusion taking charge okay taking the lead so that might be your energy following uh the start of some type of disagreements if they do unfold for you and then you're the one that's taking charge of the situation all right maybe possibly for it not to get uh you know out of hand or go any further this also could represent a you know, relationship. So let's just see what else uh, is revealed for you here, Leo, uh, with the Nine of Swords showing up, representing the air sign, Gemini's Libra. <laughs> OK, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, male or female. So the next card is your energy, the Knight of Wands. Wow. We have three knights here. So when I get the conflict of interest of disagreements, because the lovers is showing up here and that's the dominant card, that's the that's the Trump card, right? the major arcana so you have these people here so i'm getting the knight of pentacles which you know the other message excuse me the other messages that has spoke about still are intact but i'm getting a specific message with this lover's card in the reversal that there's people here involved in some type of disagreements or that you may be involved with 
uh, Leo coming up and it's a disagreement. This could be, again, family. This could be platonic uh, friendships, uh, romantic um, partnerships, and it could uh, be business partnerships. Something going on in the family. Um, so we have to wait and see. Uh, throw the comments in. I always appreciate those comments that, just to let me know. And then let's see what else is revealed here so that I can complete your story. Following the Knight of Wands, which is representing your energy, Knight in Shining Armor, something fast approaching, fast moving, okay? Someone comes along and helps you or assists you. That could be a brother, that could be a sister, that could be a friend. Hmm. All right, so following the Knight of Wands is the Queen of Swords. See, all these people are showing up here in this reading. But the Queen of Swords is in unison with the Knight. That if you are in some type of disagreement or there's some sort of expectation of a disagreement coming up, you're going to be in charge. The Queen is also the Queen that's in charge. She's used that sword to cut up any confusion or any uncertainty. And this is a card of determination. Okay, so whatever the matter is, and it's underneath the lover's card. Hence, it is underneath the lover's card. So you clear up some sort of disagreements, Leo. And however they relate to you during this two-week period of time. Following the Queen of Swords, that represents those air signs, is the, uh, oh, the death card. Major Arcana. So the death card is a major transformation. This is a rebirth after a release. So whatever this death card means for you, that represents Scorpio and uh, other water signs, Cancer and Pisces. So there's something that needs to be released and let go, uh, Leo, whatever that is for you. And then whenever... Uh, you are, you know, whatever you release or are able to release, then there's something new that's on the horizon. Now, it would be interesting because the death card is facing in the future. So let's see what this next card reveals. And maybe that would be the answer for some of you in terms of having to uh, let something go. Now, letting something go doesn't always mean a physical person. Even though we're having all these court cards showing up here and the major arcana is the disagreement. OK, but like I said before, you have to create your own story as to what and why all these court cards are showing up here uh, for this reading. So the death card is facing the card that's up next, and it's the fool card, major arcana, and the fool card is in the reverse. All right, so risky behaviors. Someone needs to release uh, doing some type of risky be uh, behaviors, whatever those things are for you. Someone is afraid of venturing out or someone could be afraid of releasing something old and letting something go. Uh, that's the card of the full card when you don't want to take risk. There's a little bit of hesitancy and a little bit of fear. So the death card is looking at the full card. And a specific message for one of you is, or one or two of you, could be that you're unwilling to release and let go, uh, let go of something that you're holding on to. Now, like I said before, it doesn't necessarily have to be a physical person. It could be a thought process or a way of doing things that you have been doing for a long period of time, but you're so used to doing them that you're afraid to let it go, to try something new or to allow something new to uh, come in for you. So it's not always based on uh, the death card showing up here with the, you know, endings of relationships. And it still can be true, but it doesn't always have to be. Um, this could be just getting rid of old shit in the house. You know what I'm saying? Just <laughs> there's too much clutter. Get rid of that stuff. Clean out the garage. Uh, you know, clean out the attic, the basement. Just get rid of shit that you don't need no more. And that's getting rid of something old. And then, you know preparing for something new but the specific message with the full card showing up in the reverse as the major arcana someone has a fear of letting go of something because they're they're the fear is because of the unknown and the future okay they're, they're fearful of the unknown and what the future may hold for them 
but do not ever be afraid. Just go ahead and let it go. The universe is still going to be there to support you. Um, but because we oftentimes uh, stick to what we know, that's what keeps us safe. OK, but that's not always the best thing for us. Sometimes we have to go out there and, and be a little bit risky. So, you know, the full card in the upright is all about taking those risks and the universe support you when it shows up in the reverse. It's about fear. OK, of taking those risks and leaping out and venturing into the, you know, unknown or doing anything spontaneous, um, adventurous or whatever. All right. So we have all these court cards here. And like I said, the basis of what I'm feeling intuitively relates to some type of disagreement. Uh, it could be multiple people. It could be just, you know, because we have all these court cards that are showing up here. So the, the queen could represent mother, father, grandmother, grandfather. Um, then we have the um, Knight of Swords, the Knight of Wands represent your energy. And then also to the Knight of uh, Pentacles as your shadow card energy. And then we have the Major Arcana, the Lovers in the reverse. So that's what I feel could be um, potentially coming up for some of you uh, in the next two week period of time. But you still, I feel, will come out on top based on the fact that the Queen of Swords and the Knight of Swords is here. You're taking charge. You're taking action. You're clearing up shit. OK, whatever the disagreements are that come, that may crop up for you, Leo, take a break from a situation, person or an event. OK, could be that you're working too hard and you need to take a break from your job. People on your jobs getting on your nerves. All kinds of stuff could be coming into play. But whatever these messages mean for you. This is what's coming out. All right, Leo, with that being said, that ends your reading. So once again, please be safe. Always emphasizing that safety, sending you out quite a bit of love and light your way. Again, enjoy Easter. If you celebrate Easter with your family and your friends, tell I talk to you again. Take care. Bye.